Hello, beautiful souls, happy solstice. Today I wanted to share a meditation that I did this morning for my newsletter group. And it's mostly audio because there was a lot of people on the call and I didn't get the screen right for the video of just me. So it's going to begin with my friend Tamara who offered to co-host sharing what the solstice means to her. Her practice is very connected to the earth. And as I mentioned in the uh, recording, that this solstice and everything we're doing is very much about the earth. And in the light language activation and transmission that we did, there was actually a lot of healing of the earth that happened. So light codes were being anchored through us. And so as you watch, just put your intention in to be present in that moment and um, the light codes will come through you to benefit and bless you and then also to go out to the earth. So we did a lot of healing for the earth, healing for humanity. They did clearing for each one of us as this began, meeting us where we are and then clearing that energy out so that we can hold these beautiful diamond light frequency codes that were anchored in with this light language. So please enjoy. I know there are many meditations happening this day and it's just a powerful time. I'm really strongly feeling that we've done it this time, that there's enough of us that are participating in this day and consciously co-creating the new earth that we choose to be living in on this day and beautiful work being done in Uluru and around the world. And so this is just one more offering that I wanted to share with you all. And there's people on my list as well who weren't able to attend today for the live event. So I wanted to bring this forward as well. So enjoy, settle in, make yourself comfortable and um, sending you so much love and so many blessings on this beautiful solstice of 2020 that I believe is changing our world. Hooray! See you on the other side. As the night gets longer, uh, we're, we're invited to take that, that journey. And through Samhain, which is October 31st, that's that marking of, of death, that grand letting go. And those leaves that have decomposed are the nourishment for the soil that will hold our seeds of intention in the springtime. So that's the journey we're invited to take in these, in these darker winter months, is that, that inner journey. And one of the symbols that uh, I really resonate with, and that is traditionally used as a ritual tool for the winter solstice um, in the tradition that I study, which is reclaiming, is the labyrinth. And so I have one of my labyrinths here. Now the labyrinth is different from a maze in that in a labyrinth, there's no wrong turn, there's no dead ends, there's only one way in and one way out. And we take the journey of the labyrinth by simply placing one foot in front of the other and continue moving forward. And then we will always make our way um, to where we're meant to be in either moving towards the center or moving back out. And as we're making this journey, there are twists and turns in the labyrinth that can seemingly take you further away from where you think you're going. And so this is used as a symbol for the winter solstice to mark this, this journey that we take into our internal landscapes, which for some can be challenging. And certainly as we look at this, this year, um, I think this is su such a great symbolism for this year as a whole and what this solstice means as a whole because so many people and, and as an entire collective of humanity, we've gone through this internal journey of looking at what doesn't serve us anymore. What can we let go of? Going into those internal places and really looking at um, 
at ourselves as, as a collective and on, on the individual level. So as we make this journey inward in through the darker day, darker nights and short days, we eventually arrive into the center of the labyrinth, which is the winter solstice. And at this point, we're offered the opportunity to acknowledge the returning light as we're at the point now with the winter solstice where the nights are the longest and the days are the shortest. And as we move forward, the days begin to become longer. And so we're welcoming back the light. And my goodness, if that isn't just a great symbolism for what we're all doing here. <laughs> so I really love this um, as always as a symbolism for the winter solstice, but particularly for this year, as we begin to walk out of this labyrinth, we're walking out with the light. And as we continue to put one foot in front of the other, the light is growing. And just as with the journey inward, when we're making this journey out, there are still twists and turns. We're walking and we might all of a sudden be seemingly walking back towards the center. But again, if we just put one foot in front of the other, we stay on the path and we make our way back to the, the threshold, to the beginning. So uh, thank you for listening. And that was just what I wanted to share about um, the winter solstice and, and how we can use the labyrinth as, as, as an imagery to, to work with. Thank you, Tamara. I just love that vision because it really feels true to me that that's where we are, that this year of 2020 has been all about going inside and going internal and doing our inner work, you know, in some cases, whether we wanted to or not, just by the situations that we were in. And it really feels like this solstice is bringing the light back, as you said, and bringing that light out into the world now, as we all come back into this new age that we're moving into. So I so appreciate you sharing that. And I had never heard that before. So when she shared it, I was really glad that we're able to bring that into the meditation today, just that awareness that we are now carrying the light. It's just such a beautiful symbol of what we're doing. So thanks so much, Tamara. My pleasure. Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to go into um, speaker and very grateful that um, as I said, all of you are here, and <clears throat> I invite you all to contribute from your own space what feels true and right to you in this, um, in this meditation today, and we will have time to share afterwards, so if you have time to stay on the call, you're welcome to for people just to share their experience or anything that's up for them. I really want it to be a community here that, um, you know, we've, we've come together and we're sharing our energy today and it would be nice to be able to share that as well. And what I'm going to be doing today is bringing through light language and toning in this meditation. And I have called upon Ashtar and he told me that we are anchoring in diamond light codes today with this light language into the earth. So yesterday I listened to a man named Simon Parks who said something about this solstice that I hadn't heard before that he said it's very much for the earth. And I love that because most of you probably know I've written conversations with a tree. I have a deep connection with the earth and I know a lot of people um, on this call do and and so what it is about is that this is for Gaia to be receiving her ascension and of course in that we are all going to be ascending with her so I, I thought it was a really beautiful thing when I learned that. And that's why I was saying to Frances earlier, who has a sequoia outside her, her window, that she can be using that to anchor this in. Because we can 
ask the forest and the trees to also anchor in this light that we are bringing in today because the forest and the trees are pillars of light and serve in this way as well. And um, so we'll be calling in the trees as we begin this. So to begin, I would just call upon the Ashtar command and call upon the ascended masters to take place around the earth in the four directions and the center of the earth. We call upon the elementals of earth, air, water, and fire to be with us. And I have called in the beings of light to be present with us today. And I call in for each person, your own guides, and we're calling in the ancient ones that live on the land where you are to be present, to surround you, to be with you as we proceed into this meditation, anchoring diamond light codes into the earth. We call upon your higher selves and your guides who serve the love and light of all that is to be present with you to unfold, guide and protect you as we go into this meditation. And we call upon the beings of light who are of service to humanity, the Ashtar Command, the Great White Brotherhood, the Councils of Light, the Elohim who are serving humanity at this time, Council of Nine, the Council of Twelve, the Andromedan High Council, Twelfth Dimensional Beings, the Twelfth Dimensional Cassiopeians to be with us this day. And to connect us all, I invite you now to imagine that we're all standing in a forest. And we're surrounded by these beautiful, majestic trees. And just envision each one of us standing there looking at one another and feeling into the heart space of every person gathered. Every person gathered in this meditation now or in the future watching the video later. Just imagine that we are feeling each other's hearts as we become one heartbeat, one vibration of love, here in service to the all that is, in service to Gaia, in service to humanity and all life to the elemental beings of this planet, to anchor in the love and light. And as we anchor this light in, we can imagine it going through the roots of the trees as well and through the mycelium, spreading the light codes that we will be anchoring in today around the globe gifting Gaia with the frequencies of light. And I invite you all in your own space, if you would like to contribute sound or tones, please feel free to do so. And also to bring your intent into this meditation of what you would see love as what you would like to see anchored into the earth for this new earth that we are creating in this now moment. And so I want you to know that I have brought through light language before for the land with a friend and when we finished, he was moved to tears because the land was telling him how grateful it was to hear these tones once again. 
We are awakening ancient codes with this toning, with our songs of light and the light language. And so I call upon the ancient ones now to be present and the beings of light who serve the love and light of humanity and who serve the love and light of all that is to be present as we anchor in these diamond light codes and you can see it like raining symbols of love and light down onto the earth and through yourself so you receive the benefit of these codes as you anchor them in through your root chakra into the earth and we will begin. Yashka iakna ashna iamakna ashkana atmatne. Maktiki yashkani iama ashkana a. Aktake he i kachi iakshna i atmatna achkana awa. Achkani i each kanai maktiktaka atmatne. Machikai o ikna achma iakna atmatna taktawa. Achkia ha ashkana iashna a. Ishkana atma iashkani iashkana atma ekana. Maktaka halawa a each kanayo kikna up me in a Yachki yashkana up my e Maktaki yashkana a We're just doing some clearing here as they're showing us the state of the earth and the state of humanity at this time. And the guides have shown me this is the way that it works, that we meet where we are now before we anchor in the newness that we are creating. Uklaha each can a maktaka iash can a ayaktaka iash can a iash can a makta iash can a atmatna iash can a ia each can a ia told to eat what iash can a makta wa iash can a each one of us preparing for anchoring in this light and for walking in the new light from this moment forward. Makatua e ishkanayo teta e akna atmatni. Makichna atwa e iala, akai e chakna, e machka e watwa, iashka e ashkana atna e. Atakaha each kanayo tiktaka a ishkana. Makalawa e iaho yachika e ashkana a. Maktiktaka atwa e ikanai o tiktaka alawa e ta. Ashkani a watna, ikachua e ikana. You know, Oh, 
e ishkana apna ishkana apma e itkana apma ilachkana. Much kahayashkania no e la itkana matwa ina. Matik the whole itkana ama iashkana. Makloa a itkana, a tiktak a itkana. Itkana apma e ishkana, o takahashki ashkana matnoa e. Ashkana aloa a iashkana apma ne aka. A kishna at my ashkan e ashwana awala e ashkana at meetna. Mashki ashkana ama e la ishkana a ishkana ishkana at matna. We are open now, all open, receiving these codes, envision bringing them in through your being down into the earth. A kayo ishkana amala alawa e ishkana o tiktaka at meetna. Makishkana atwa e ishkana o tiktaka atwakna. Makachua e ishkana o tikta a ashkani. Makli atwa e ishkana, maktaktawa e ashkana. Ishkana atwa e ishkana o imanwachua e akna. Maktalawa e ishkana, mikai o tiktaka atwakna. Yashki yahwa he ishkana, mialawa akna. Maktaka awe each can I tick to a achkani at matni. Ashkana iakna, ashkana awa e ishkana e takta. Ishkana ishkana. Yatwa yatwa yatata hishkana ai hishkana wa e ishkana. Tihialawa ashkina mayena, Miashki ashna atma atna e, Utati dadawa nechkana amana, Alawa achkana mikayacha iashkana atmatna, Mikachwa iashkana atma e, Akichna atwa e, Ashkana atma alawa e ishkana, O tiktaka atwa e kana, Makalawa e ishkana, Makai ichkana, Yakna ishkana atwa kana. Makalawa e ishkana e tikatawa e ikana. Huchka atwa e ashkana. Makitawa, akichina, makitawa taka. I feel that Ashtar wants to bring through a message, but first I would invite us to integrate these frequencies that are being anchored in at this time. I feel my whole body tingling. And as we integrate these frequencies, they are solidifying the anchoring of them through each one of us into the earth. And you may feel releasing as this happens, making room for this new light. And now they are inviting me to bring in some frequencies specifically for the trees to anchor this out through the mycelium around the world, which has already happened, but more of this to come through.
So we're doing some releasing in the earth. I felt some energy being released. So we're continuing with that before it gets fully anchored in. The land has had to hold a lot of trauma over the years. This is being released. So they're asking everyone now just to imagine a blanket of pink love light falling onto the earth, or you can imagine it as pink snow falling onto the earth, creating this beautiful blanket of light and imagine it seeping into the earth now, down through the many layers of the soil so that all of that Struggle and hardship is dissolved by this pink light and see the pink light just drinking it up like a sponge absorbing it and it is being transmuted back to light. And see the violet coming in now as the pink and the blue come together to create a violet light that is transmuting and transfiguring all of these discordant energies that are held within the land around the entire globe. Our beautiful love light blessing, kissing the earth with this healing light. And now moving through each one of us are more crystalline, diamond codes of light that hold the core of purity and that beautiful diamond white light now moving down through each one of us into this beautiful blanket that is surrounding the earth so that every cell within our being is restored to the core of purity as well as the earth and all the molecular structure Ma <laughs> Uchke ikna at ma aya kachna i makta i makta e o ichkna a achka ya wa e ala makachwa iyashkani iyatna 
Maktiki ashkana yakna each kana atma e each kana atwa e e ashkana ma akwa a each kana atma ena. They are telling me that today is the day that humanity claimed its rightful place as a creator being of love and light, free and sovereign to grow into their magnificence, to remember all that they are, to awaken the latent codes within humanity, to reclaim our light, to activate the strands of the DNA that had been corrupted, to stand in our pure light as sovereign beings, who belong on this earth, who are one with the earth, and who are liberated and free. And so now Ashtar is ready to come in. Beloved beings of light, sacred souls of the earth, it is our deepest honor and grace to be before you this day. Sacred columns of light you are as you stand in service, claiming your love, claiming your wholeness, restoring the fragmented aspects of who you have become back into sovereignty, back into wholeness. Beloved ones, in this moment, you are reclaiming your light, the fullness of your expression. Expect your lives to change and allow your lives to change. Give yourself time for these frequencies of light to move into your being, to play, take their place in your awareness. And know, beloveds, that beings from galaxies far and wide have come to be witness this day, to hold space, to hold the light, to support humanity in this grand transition and to your precious planet, who has waited so patiently, we rejoice for indeed today is the day of her liberation. For we want you to know, beloveds, that there are enough of you gathered on this day, at this time, in this now moment, that you have liberated Gaia, and as such you are liberating yourselves. Be patient as it plays itself out. And at the same time, feel the difference within you. Feel the invitation within your being to be all that your heart desires of you. And at the same time, feel the invitation to be nothing. Simply be. Feel the invitation to know that you are enough just by being here. That you don't need to seek what you must accomplish for it is alive within you and it will stream forth from you when you are free of limitations and blocks of the mind. Your magnificence isn't your birthright. It is alive within you but it has been deeply buried by the pain and hardship and struggle that have created patterns of protection within you. And now all of that is ready to break free. As these transmissions of light that the galaxies and the suns are providing and the planets and the beings of love such as you are who are anchoring in this light through your pure intention are awakening within you, now allow you to be free of those restrictions and come to know your magnificence once again. 
And so it is we celebrate and we invite you to do the same. Celebrate this precious planet upon which you live. Celebrate the beauty that is around you. Celebrate yourself for being here, for being present, for having the courage to be present at this time of grand change upon your planet. For it has not been an easy task and yet here you are, here you are forever faithful in the light. And we bow to you beloveds. We have so much love for you. With that, we leave you, but never really leave you. <laughs> we simply slide away and make space for you to celebrate together as all life everywhere is celebrating in this now moment. For you must know that what you are achieving in this day is affecting all life everywhere. We are the Ashtar Command in love with humanity, in love with life, in love with love. We are forever at your side, simply awaiting your calling. We send so much love and all the beings of light who are present send their love and their grace to each one of you. Blessed be beloved souls. Blessed be. It is done. It is done. It is done. And so it is.